Happy Mother's Day! Yeah, no, it's not Mother's Day today. It's Mother's Day every day, you ungrateful pricks. You're lucky to be here, you know? Now go buy her some flowers and make dinner for a change. And move out already. Just kidding, guys. Moms are the best. They don't mind caring for your ass for as long as you need it. Well, most of them, at least. There are some really awful moms out there, but we've narrowed it down to 10 for starters. Let's see who gets the Worst Mom Ever Award in this episode of the Worst Mothers of the Animal Kingdom. Number 10, Pandas. Oh, yeah, I know. Weren't expecting this one. It's hard to think anything negative about these guys, but I'm here to ruin their reputation for you. You're welcome. The reality is that they're pretty negligent parents. Despite the fact that pandas very often have twins, they almost never care for more than one cub. The mom will choose the weaker of the two babies and start ignoring it in favor of the stronger sibling. Fair enough? Well, it's not entirely her fault, Bamboo is notoriously low in nutrients, so it's near impossible for a mother to make enough milk to feed two cubs. Even so, it's a harsh decision for a mother to make. Fun fact, the cubs abandoned in zoos are still cared for since zookeepers don't have to worry about limited milk production like the cubs' natural mothers do. They're doing something good for once. Keep it up, humans. Number 9. Cuckoos when it comes to being master neglectors, cuckoos win big time. The mother cuckoo sneakily lays her eggs in another bird's nest, tricking the bird into caring for her egg. Not exactly the best mom out there, but at least she's trying. The cuckoo baby is usually the first of the birds to hatch in the neighbor's nest, and when it does, it forces the other birds out of there. The baby cuckoo then gets all the attention from their new parents. Mama cuckoo doesn't have to do one thing. It's kind of a brilliant evil scheme, actually, hey, as long as it works. Number eight, rabbits. If you ever thought your mom didn't have enough time for you when you were young, well, okay, that might happen, but hear this one. Rabbit mothers immediately leave the burrow after giving birth and only stop by for a few minutes each day afterwards in order to feed the litter. After less than a month, the youngsters are left to fend for themselves. Sounds like modern day humans, honestly, minus the sitter. In the rabbit's defense, she's actually helping her babies. You know, preparing them for the world. Sure. No, seriously. Rare visits actually minimize the chance the burrow will be found by predators. But still, not the best moms out there. Number seven, house sparrows. Ah, the Karen of the animals. Yeah, they've made their way into the wild too. The house sparrow is a perfectly good mom to its own chicks. It's actually the babies of other sparrows that have to watch out. Breeding time for sparrows is like something out of Jerry Springer with mother sparrows making it their mission to get back at any other sparrow who has mated with the father of their chicks. After all, they want daddy to devote all this time and attention to her babies, not someone else's. Nothing is getting in their way. Sparrows will attack the nests of other birds, destroying eggs and even killing birds, all to make sure their mate comes home at night. Number six, leopard tree iguana. This reptile mom protects her young for their first 48 hours, no more, no less, then abandons them in their den with a pile of her poo, quite the parting gift. It's the thought that matters, guys. I'll have you know that poo contains valuable gut microbes, is edible, and very nutritious. Yum! Let's forgive her for the poo part. The iguana actually cares. The babies are very weak when they're born, so before she leaves the birth chamber, you know, forever, she seals up the exit so they can't be preyed upon by birds. Hey, she's done her part. Now it's on to you, kiddos. I gave you birth, a home, and I gave you my poop. What more do you want, ungrateful bastards? Number five, burying beetles. Burying beetles are big believers in the idea that the squeaky wheel gets the grease. The larvae live in a mouse carcass and get fed as mom consumes the dead creature and regurgitates the meat to her kids. Unfortunately, there's not enough mouse meat for everyone, so the ones that get mom's attention get fed first. The rest get eaten by their own mother. Guess the spoiled kids win this one. Eh, don't they always? Number four, harp seals. Mothers of these precious little ones are highly dedicated for the first 12 days. In fact, they do not eat at all during that period. Yep, sacrifice. 
Unfortunately, once the feeding is over, that's it for mother-child bonding. She's out of there. Now off you go. The babies aren't ready to swim until they are at least eight weeks old, so they stay put, lose about half their body weight, and try not to get eaten. It's a rough start to life, that's for sure, and it's no wonder that about one-third of all baby seals die in their first year of life. Thanks for nothing, Mom. Number 3. Quokkas Feeling like a bad parent, quokkas actually toss their babies at predators so they can escape. The youngsters flail around on the ground and hiss and make noise until the mom gets away. The mother is interested in her own survival and her future reproduction. Well, I gave you your life, now you save mine. It's only fair, I guess. Well, not fair, but that's life, baby. Number two, black eagles. Lots of mothers will take side with this one. I'll judge you, though. Any mom with more than one child can tell you just how irritating sibling squabbles are. But most parents, the sane ones, know when to say enough is enough and break it up. Well, black eagles won't even bother. You do you, boo. Mom watches the fight, even if it comes to one killing the other. You just give her some popcorn. Okay, not funny, you know, killing and stuff, but it's what happens. Not really a good mom, but still not the worst. And now the last, but not least, the worst mom ever award goes to... Number one, skinks. Hmm, what's one to do when there are too many predators around your egg babies? Panic! <gasps> Bingo! They can't eat your babies if you eat them first. Logic. Just as well. They'll eat their own egg up before them predators. The eggs don't even get a chance to hatch. Haha! <laughs> Better luck next time, babe. But it's a win-win situation, really. The eggs will get eaten anyway, so why not contribute to the family? The mama's gotcha. Yeah, it's weird to dive into cannibalism without even giving them a chance at life, but that's nature, I guess. And that's the end of our list. So, what do you think of our list? Who do you think wins the Worst Mom Award? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, we've picked two others you might also like. For more animal videos, subscribe to our channel. See you next time.